Now, CPL is a young and growing league, but if it's going to grow any bigger, any more successful, it's going to have to be a little bit more transparent with its fans, and that's something I'm going to cover in today's video, so stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Curtis here and you're watching my channel, AFC Curtis, your home for all things Canadian Premier League content right here on YouTube. So make sure if you're new here, you consider hitting that red subscribe button. So like with anything out there, there's always good qualities and always bad qualities. You see it in businesses, you see it in people, and just everything has it, and including our very own Canadian Premier League, a league that has a lot of great qualities to it. I mean, I love the CPL. It's my favorite soccer league. Uh, I can't believe we finally have a league here. It's got so many great qualities, like showcasing young, great Canadian talents, players. Uh, not only that, but great Canadian coaches coming up. It's giving them a professional level of play for them to develop their coaching skills. And on top of all that, it's giving uh, cities that otherwise wouldn't get a professional soccer team in pretty much any other league, especially the MLS, a chance to actually have that professional experience with its very own club. Cities like Winnipeg, Hamilton, uh, Victoria, um, Halifax, these cities here that have a professional uh, level club because of the Canadian Premier League. So that's some great qualities and there's way more as well for the CPL. So one glaring issue here with the Canadian Premier League that has gone on since the start of the league has been transparency. Since day one, we've had numerous opportunities uh, where things come out, but we don't really fully know or understand what it is. And then we're going to explain it to the, to the fans. And here's an example is we have a salary cap. We know what a salary cap is, okay, but we don't know what the salary cap is at. Like, we don't know what how much these teams are spending on players. Apparently, is a coach's salary cap, which the league has said in the past, back in 2018 and 2019. Don't know what that's at. Uh, there's also a, you know, we don't know how long a player's contract is. Now, in recent months, or to the last couple months, I should say this past off season, we have gotten a little bit more from the CPL in terms of, oh, this team, this player signed for multi, multiple years, or this player's maybe signed for just one year. So we've gotten that in some instances, but we don't know an exact number. And on top of that, now the most recent uh, big problem with transparency that the fans just aren't agreeing with right now, it seems, uh, is the return to play plan. You know, we know that there is a return to play. The league has stated that they are trying to come back for the 2020 season in some form, even during a pandemic, which my hat goes off to the, everyone at the league for even trying to organize that. I can only imagine how tough it is uh, to organize something for eight different teams in eight different cities across five different provinces, all on a single site, not only even for a weekend, but for a whole month to two months for a season and gather all these players and coaches there and make sure that they're all safe. So my hat goes off to them to even trying to attempt to have a season because it is a pretty daunting task and task I'm sure but along the way the last month or two they've really teased a lot of fans they've said oh we're hoping that mid-July uh, we can have a possible start of the season it's a slim chance but maybe there's a little bit of a chance or you know in the coming weeks we'll hear news of a possible return to play we we're hoping it or even more recently we had Oliver Platt there on one soccer just last week say how you know they're just na nailing down the final details this week and hopefully this week we'll hear something from the CPL about a return to play plan yet a whole week went the whole week went by last week we didn't hear anything so I think this teasing has really gone along with adding to the frustration with the fan base uh, to be honest with you and I know I've been frustrated I was frustrated before even filming this video when I was putting down the notes my girlfriend behind the camera there can attest to that so you know but I cooled down I thought about it I was like listen I want to give you guys good content. I want to tell you guys straight up that the transparency part here is something that's really deeply frustrated fans. And, you know, I'm a season ticket holder. You know, I invest tons of money into this league. And I would like to know, you know, what the plan is. Even, even if, you know, we don't have a final detail, you don't want to share the final details. Okay, but just let us know what's stalling it at the very least. You know, yes, we know you're trying to come back, but give us a little update every two weeks even. For, it doesn't even have to be from the commissioner itself. Just put it on the website just to update fans because we want to know. We are invested. So the slogan is we're many, we're one, yet I almost feel like the fans sometimes aren't even really part of the league in some aspects because they keep things so secretive and it's like just share a little bit of it with the fans, just a little bit. Uh, over time. I mean, it's not even just the fans that don't even know any updates about a return to play really outside of what the vague responses has been from the league and one soccer over the last couple weeks. It's also the players as a PFA can, so the players union essentially for these Canadian players, they've spoken on that on Twitter a couple of times saying how these players are frustrated. We don't really know any return to play updates. You have even Nico Pasquati there of Calvary FC who tweeted back in early July uh, at the CPL asking like, so what's the plan? So. I'll show a tweet of it right here on the screen, but um, 
I mean, the players don't even know, which is crazy because the league just took a 25% pay cut back in April from coaches and players. I think I would at least think you would want to keep them in the loop so they know that they are safe. That don't worry, you're going to have a season this season. And here are the updates. This is what's stalling it. That just to me seems like a good good thing to kind of portray and send down to your players that are really a big, the other big part of the product. There's two big parts of the CPL product that make sure that they make money at the end of the year. You got the product itself, which is the players that put on the entertainment on the pitch, and you got the money that pays those players and the league, which is coming from the fans. And if they're not really in the loop and you get them frustrated, you might end up losing fans. And that's a thing I don't want to see from the CPL. I want to see them with you know more transparency. I want them to involve fans and players a lot more. And that's really what I'm making this video about. I'm just, to be honest with you, I didn't even read the notes that I wrote from this. This is all literally from a heart of a supporter and of a season ticket holder. So hopefully you guys understand what I'm saying from the league and hopefully the fans you know, can chime in down in the comment section below about uh, just some frustrations they might have and what they hope to see. Uh, from the league because I, I know I've, re I've been I'm on CPL community Twitter and Reddit I know the frustrations are out there uh, and it's real guys uh, I really hope to God that we do have a season I hope it's announced soon I hope it's announced before I even drop this video uh, on Tuesday July 20th or 21st sorry uh, I get my dates mixed up sometimes but other than that guys if you like this video and you agree with what I'm saying make sure you hit that like button a thumbs up button of course if you want to see more content a little bit more upbeat than this maybe in the Canadian Premier League definitely hit that red subscribe button and a little bell notification Notification button so you can get notified each and every week when I drop a brand new episode just like this one and now guys you can also watch my content over at northernstarting11.com we'll have a link for that website uh, down in the description below and other than that guys we'll see you next week